Good morning, Alex. It is Thursday, August 25th, 2011. So, Alex, last Monday, you weren't wearing a short, and in our continuing attempt to bring sex appeal to this channel, I'm not wearing pants. But I'm not going to show you that. Because nobody wants to see that, and because I have more important things to talk about today. So, in your video on Monday, you talked about a couple of things that I want to touch on. Firstly, the community discussion. Now, Alex, I like the idea of talking with our community about something important and having a debate with them over the issues, but I don't feel that we have a large enough following yet. So I am going to do that idea. I'm just going to put it on the back burner for now, and when we have more followers, I'll ask them what they want to talk about. Secondly, Alex, you mentioned stunts and skips that we're going to be doing around the community. Now, we have a few ideas, and like you said, you want to work on that Minecraft thing. But if our watchers have anything that they want to see us do, then they could leave suggestions in the comments, and we'll try to work on those, too. Now, finally, Alex, I was going to talk about some news today. Originally, I wanted to talk about Libya, because the rebels just took the capital, and it might mean the end of Gaddafi's reign. But something happened that hits a little closer to home, and I don't think I would be a very good Canadian if I didn't talk about it. So Alex, as you know, and as I'm sure all of our viewers know, Canadian politician Jack Rayton, leader of the NDP, the New Democratic Party, died on Monday in his second battle with cancer. Now Alex, you know that I didn't support the NDP in the last election. One, I wasn't old enough to vote, and two, if I was old enough to vote, I would have voted conservative. But that being said, I still respect Jack Rayton for what he was. Rayton was a great politician, Alex, and he was a smart man. He cared about Canada, and he cared about his job. The day before he died, he met with his chief advisor and the new leader of the NDP party to talk about the future of Canada. In our last election, Jack Rayton managed to do something that completely blew my mind, and I'm sure did the same thing for Canadians all across the country. He led the party to its biggest success in history. They didn't take the election out, but they took the opposition. Jack Rayton completely overflew the Liberal Party, leaving them with less than 50 seats in Parliament, and giving his party over 100. Now, this doesn't make them the most powerful party in the country. That would be the Conservatives. But he gave the NDP party a power that it's never had before. Not only that, Alex, he gave hope to young Canadians all across the country. Left-wing politicians like Jack Rayton are usually focused on the downside of everything, but not him. His peers and people he worked with would always say that it was nearly impossible to find Jack Rayton without a smile on his face. He truly believed in this country, and he believed in making it a better place. I can only hope that his successor, the new leader of the NDP party, will do the same thing for the country that Jack Rayton wanted and would have done had he been given the chance. I can only hope that he continues on Jack Rayton's legacy and brings the NDP to even more success in the future.